the lifeboat service today is busier than it has ever been. And the sight of a lifeboat returning to port with survivors is becoming more common as distress calls around our long and varied coastline increase year by year. I had the privilege of serving in the RNLI and have seen firsthand the crazy conditions under which lifeboats are sent to service. So when I saw a picture of a former Watson class lifeboat that following years of boat restoration work had been turned into a liveaboard boat that is nestled in a marina in the beating heart of London, I just knew that I had to take my GoPro and drone and check this fascinating boat out. So join me in this video as we step aboard this lifeboat that saw active service for 30 years between 1958 and 1988 and that saved the lives of thousands of sailors and seafarers who, like many of you watching this video, have often called the sea their second home. And at the time of making this video, this former lifeboat turned liveaboard is currently for sale. But more about that later on in the video. Before we start, please remember to give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please help me get to the magic 50,000 subscribers mark. The term Watson class lifeboat refers to several wooden lifeboat classes operated by the RNLI around the coasts of the United Kingdom and Ireland between 1888 and 1991. The boats had hulls that conformed to the basic design laid down by RNLI naval architect George Lennox Watson. Despite being 65 years old, the mahogany hull is still in excellent condition. The hull had her last five yearly inspection in 2019 and she passed with flying colours. The current owner, a renowned jazz musician who plays in Ronnie Scott's in central London, has owned this boat for 18 months. But he and his wife, a paramedic in the London Ambulance Service, have decided to move to the south coast of England. This is the reason why this piece of search and rescue heritage is for sale. But she is, of course, no ordinary houseboat. Over the years, she and her various crews dedicated their lives to saving lives at sea. The aft section of the house has been turned into a spacious modern galley that, thanks to the large window, allows lots of natural light to come into this space. Before coming to London, this former lifeboat was in Belgium, where for years her previous owners dedicated as much time and financial resources as they could, turning this lifeboat into what you see now. But for most of her time spent in Belgium, she was in a semi-converted condition. For a while, this was a project that someone could not finish. At one point, there was a risk that the mudflats in Belgium she called home, with the intermittent tides being her only connection with the treacherous seas she once roamed, would be her final resting place. But she was saved from a fate that did not belong to a boat that had saved so many lives and kept her various crews safe during so many shouts. Now she offers a warm and cosy liveaboard retreat. Having retired from the harsh and challenging role as a search and rescue vessel, she now gets to be called someone's home. A home on the water unlike any other. When I visited this boat during a cold, wet and blustery day in South London, she provided a warm and relaxing area to retreat from the rain. And one of the things that stood out to me was how much light there was 
in what I thought would be a relatively dark living space. What an amazing honour it has been to be aboard this 1958 RNLI lifeboat that has now seen a new lease of life as a liverboard. This boat is actually currently for sale and if you're interested in finding out more I'll leave the owner's details in the video description but I'll be really interested to see what you think of this conversion. I absolutely love it. It feels so cosy and so warm and that smell of the wood burner really does create a just relaxing and kind of rustic feel but yeah i just want to say thanks to the owner for letting me come on uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and like i say you know from someone who's served in the rnli it's amazing to see a boat like this that over its 30 years of service has probably saved countless number of lives and now rather than being left to rot in a boatyard somewhere, she's had a new lease of life as a livable boat. And I think that is fantastic. And fair play to the dedicated people who managed to turn this into a livable boat. Because anybody that knows anything about boats will tell you it is not easy. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour. Please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it. And also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. But what about her price? Well, at the time of making this video, the owner is asking £70,000 for her. And if you want to make contact with the owner, then I will leave his contact details in the video description. When you consider that between 1954 and 1962, only 10 42-foot Watson-class lifeboats were built at the RNLI's facility in Cowes, then I am sure there might even be someone out there who perhaps wants to ensure that this extraordinary boat is kept on the water for many more years to come. Although the engines have been removed, imagine what a spectacle it would be to see this boat once again crashing through some waves. I'm not even sure this would be possible, but it is good to daydream about such things. Either way, I am sure that this boat will soon find a new owner, a new crew member who is prepared to look after her, as she once looks after her various crews over the years. The lifeboat service today is busier than it has ever been, and the sight of a lifeboat returning to port with survivors is becoming more common as distress calls around our long and varied coastline increase year by year. Following a poll of my subscribers, I've decided that I'm going to be doing a weekly live stream in a podcast type format. The live stream will be about explorer yachts, expedition yachts, trawler yachts and coastal explorers. So make sure that you stay tuned for that and thanks to everyone who voted. As you might have guessed by now, I use these polls quite often to make decisions about my channel. So thanks for taking the time to vote. As always, I'd like to say a massive thank you to my channel members for supporting my channel by becoming a member. If you're interested in channel membership, you can click on the link pinned in the comments or on the link in the video description. I'd like to welcome Johnny and Jerry as my latest channel members. On the left of the screen, you'll find two of my videos that I've handpicked that I think you'll enjoy. So feel free to check them out and to check out my other playlists. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.